Great. Well, we're going to give the mic off to Mr. Dionda, and he's going to ask the next question. How can we ensure corporate entities do not infringe on our values here in our city? What will you as mayor do to protect the citizens from this occurring? And Mrs. Power, I do believe you're up. Uh, I need to have a minute to think about the question, so I'm going to pass. Yeah, for sure. Mr. Burnett, would you like to go? And we'll just come back to you last, Mrs. Powell. I think that corporate entities are already infringing on our values here in our city. Um, it's what I've said since I started running, and I think that we need to go back to community first. I think that we need to have town hall meetings. I think our city council meeting needs to be moved back to a better time where community members can be heard and have a part of. And I think that when we stop tailoring and catering to corporations, corporations are going to come here whether we tailor and cater to them or not. We're on the I-40 corridor. I think it's time that we tailor and we cater to our citizens and we ask our citizens what their needs are because right now what is running this city is corporations. I mean, just within, within the, the candidate race, I mean, look, look at where the money's coming from in the candidate race and see how many corporations are, are benefiting or, or throwing their money at people. I mean, that, that right there should tell you that corporations are running this town. And Mrs. Powell, did you want to go right now or did you want to let Mr. Collins go? I guess Mr. Collins is going to go and you'll be last. Well, we do live in a corporate world, but I think the city needs to make it economically feasible and help out to bring small business back to Amarillo. Uh, we have a economical development that's bringing in big corporates. I don't know if you realize it, but the city does have an economical development department. I would like them, if I'm elected mayor, to make it feasible to bring in, like I said, small businesses and fill, fill up these strip malls and get back to basics. I don't think that um, corporate entities um, are, are really uh, making a big impact on our values. It's the people uh, who's on the council. Uh, you can look at this from different uh, sides. We need more businesses here in the city of Amarillo, but at the same time, we do need to uh, pay attention to our communities and uh, make sure that they are, are growing as corporate is coming in. Economic, de economic developing is coming in. We still need to pay attention to our communities throughout the city of Amarillo and not put them on the back burner. So we have to weigh things out so that things can flow like they're supposed to. Um, you can't do no more than somebody al allow you to do. So if uh, based on what you said, Sam, um, corporate uh, using money, uh, I guess you're talking about endorsements and stuff like that. You can't do no more than what people, uh, you allow people to do. Thank you. Mr. Stanley? 
So I, I also see this a little bit in, in two ways or from two perspectives. One, we're a community that knows our identity and we have been built on the backs of small business and I'm proud to be a small businessman here in town and we need to promote small business, we, we need to promote our entrepreneurs and we need to promote the ability to do business in the city limits here. Now I don't necessarily like the way the, the question is phrased, corporate America or corporate business isn't necessarily a problem. It's a woke agenda that comes through that vein into our society. <clears throat> The way we combat that is through our, our communities, for, through our families, and through our family values, and through our faith communities. And we're doing a good job of that. We just need to continue to rise up and, and be a little louder and be a little stronger as we move forward. And Mrs. Powell, it is now your time. OK, so in working with our economic development um, corporation here in Amarillo, uh, whether it is new businesses or existing businesses in our city that are that are coming in, uh, everyone has an opportunity to work through the Emerald Economic Development Corporation because there's a process that we follow for that. So if you can if you can meet that criteria, you know then you you can go through that process and your business can come to town. Most of the businesses that are coming to town, they're choosing us. And they're saying, you know, what they need to bring their businesses here. And so the Emerald Economic Development Corporation is working with those individuals one-on-one. Uh, -on -one and and it, at any given time, they can have 10 different new uh, companies coming in, or they can have existing businesses right here in our city that want to expand and, and want to uh, continue to do business here. Thank you. And with Mr. Collins, you can go up and respond, and then we'll go to you, Mrs. Winston. So I know these big corporations that are coming in, we give them a tax break, we kind of kind of give them everything for about 10 years and each year it kind of reduces them so they'll have to pay. Well, why can't we do that for small businesses so they can afford to open and do business? Thank you, and Mrs. Winston, you can go ahead. Where are these big businesses at? these big corporations other than Amazon. Where are they at? I don't see them here in, in Amarillo. Where are they? Um, we need to bring in more uh, businesses, uh, economic development in Amarillo. We are stagnant in the city of Amarillo. We are behind. We need to bring more businesses in, more paying jobs, better paying jobs and we need to take care of our communities. Thank you. Would anybody else like to respond to that? Yes, so we have brought in a lot of businesses over the, 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 the last six years, including Amazon is here in Amarillo. Also, we've got Cacique. Um, I mean, we've got CBMR. I mean, in these businesses, we've got producers own beef. These businesses are paying good wages and good salaries, and so we have recruited uh, some some great companies that are here right now, and there's about four or five more on the horizon. And Mr. Burnett. I just want to respond to Tanya as to where they are. If you drive South Amarillo, you'll find them. Cavanus Beef Packers just built a brand new plant. We have a brand new cheese factory. We have SSI. We have Amazon. If you drive the entire South Amarillo, you'll see all of the new buildings that are going up and all of the new buildings that have just recently opened. Mrs. Winston, er, yes. You go. I just want to say that Amazon is actually on the northeast side of town. Mrs. Winston, go ahead. So if all these great businesses are here on the south side of town, whether they're on the south or the north side of town, why do we have so many, so many people that are unemployed? Why is there so many people unemployed? Mrs. Powell, go ahead. So right now, coming out of COVID, uh, people are unemployed. We have a very low unemployment right, 
unemployment rate right now, but people are unemployed because they choose to be for whatever reason. And so if you think about it, even within our city, solid waste, we were down 22 employees and these were CDL drivers, you know. So we haven't seen people come back to work coming out of COVID. I wished I knew what they were doing because I might go do that. Okay, so we don't see people coming back to work, and I drive all over the country, and the whole country doesn't see people coming back to work. So I'm going to use that phrase that nobody likes. Baby boomers have decided to start retiring. We built an industry for the baby boomer generation. The generation coming in behind that, there's not as many workers. So we start complaining that we have all these computerized things. Those computerized things are going to be needed because the next generation cannot sustain our workforce. So that's where those people are. Some people died. Some people retired. They decided it's better to be retired than be out in the city right now. Thank you. Did anybody else want to give a rebuttal or response?